Hey guys, welcome back to Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. So, we're going to be taking on Mole Knight stage next. Dash and Slash. Okay, so here we are in Mole Knight stage. And the song is called Facing the Task. It is a remix of an underlying problem, the original song. And I love this remix. It's actually my favorite remix in Spectre of Torment. You know, when I first heard this, I was like stunned at how good this song is. It's really good. Um, Alright, so there's a red skull. And I'm just gonna, you know, slice this dirt up. And I'm gonna use my Judgment Rush. And I wanted to get those gold right there, but I failed. And here is where Shovel Knight would have started off, as that rope at the beginning. Now we're going to go over here, and inside that treasure chest is actually a dog. If you slice it four times, you'll get some gold. You'll get the most gold if you slice it four times. And there is a red skull behind that wall. And I see another red skull over there. I'm going to go ahead and use my Judgment Rush. And there is another Red Skull. So use my Judgment Rush to get to the top. And you break down to here. And then you just enjoy the ride. Of course, there's enemies and obstacles on the way, so you might not be able to enjoy the ride. Just gonna get the gold up there. And take care of this guy. And we're at the end of this ride. Slice that dirt block and he's gonna fall in. And behind this wall, there's a treasure chest. And I'm just gonna slice this guy. He almost hit me, but I made sure to immediately start attacking after I'm done collecting. I guess I'll kill this guy for some more gold. And I also refilled my darkness. And behind this wall, there's turkey. And there is another checkpoint, which I'm gonna go ahead and destroy. And we're starting to see a lot more goo. When you see goo on these things, when you slice through them, it'll bounce you back. So, and right here, yeah, you want to you wanna bounce back from these things to make it over here. And here comes another checkpoint, which I'm going to go ahead and destroy. And I'm going to walk my way up here because there is another red skull to collect. All the way at the end of the room. I'm going to slice through these guys over the lava. There you go. Red skull and a treasure chest, which contains gold. Now to head back and move on. So now to go to the next room, and we got these blocks. When you hit them, all the blocks will be destroyed. There's a red skull, you gotta hurry up. Also, since Specter Knight can destroy blocks just by jumping off of them, it makes it trickier, adds more of a challenge to it. Alright, so for this, destroy these blocks, and don't jump, and destroy that goo, just wait for a while till he leaves, and then start moving. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the next Wisp. There's a Willful Wisp. I'm just gonna Judgment Rush through there. Willful Wisp. And increase my max health. Just, yeah, you wanna be careful. Because if you jump, then you're doomed. You, you, you don't wanna jump right there. At all. Alright, so use this goo to turn the lava into goo. Just for a limited time, though. Destroy these blocks. Use this dude to bounce to get that red skull. Hit to the left first, and hit the next one to the right. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy. Move this goon to any one of these. 
and then bounce off of them to the ladder. And here's the next checkpoint. I'm just gonna go ahead and slice to that enemy, and then slice my way up here, and then start riding on this guy. And there is another red skull. Just wait for the goo to appear underneath, and then bounce your way to get that red skull. I'm gonna go ahead and judgment rush, and then slice him a few times. Now before we move on, use the goo to bounce over here. And there is a red skull at the end of this room. But once you jump on these, the blocks will all be destroyed. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no. Okay, I just used the judgment rush to save myself from falling into the lava. <laughs> that was a close call. All right, so. There's one more red skull. Just gonna go ahead and judgment rush my way through that enemy to get that red skull. Gonna wait for these enemies to stop bouncing around. And then here's another treasure chest, which contains gold. Not as much, but contains gold nonetheless. There's turkey, which is just a bunch of bones of a turkey. And here's Mole Knight. Break time is over. Are you in the right place? Ready to continue to dig? Very much so. In fact, I'm here with a business proposal. The Enchantress has need of excavators and wishes to employ the best. What? Who? Well, you found the best. The best at digging. My claws are sharp. My technique is flawless. Excellent. Then you'll only need... But I'm absolutely not looking for new work. And break time is over! Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and use our Skeletal Sentry and absolutely annihilate Mulma. And he digs underground, he's at the other side of the room. And that was it. He actually armors himself in goo in his next attack. Which I never got to show because I just destroyed him with ease. That's why I love the Skeletal Sentry. Just thought I'd mention the goo armor because that's what's new about Mole Knight. So, yeah. So we're back into the Tower of Fate. We're going to get our next Curio. It is the Kronos coin. Kronos, eh? Is that the password that Mr. Incredible typed? Well, I think it's actually spelled with a K, so. Well, anyway, this is the Kronos coin. It slows down time, as you can see. It's quite useful. I like this weapon. I mean, not as much as the Judgment Rush, but it's, it's beneficial. All right, so last part. All right, there we go. And I don't quite remember how much the other thing was worth. Was it like, was it six or maybe it was eight? Let's just go ahead and double check. Yes, it's eight. Never mind. Okay, well, let's go ahead and talk to some more people, I guess. We'll talk to this one guy over here. He'll give us some gold. And Mole Knight. Are they bringing my bread out? I ask for bread. Everything up here takes forever. Could you go ask about the bread? No. So let's go over here and I guess I'll turn this guy's color to something else. Come on. I want you right over there. Good. And let's go ahead and upgrade our curio. Or curios, because there's more than one that we're going to be upgrading. And let's go ahead and find out if we can buy any more outfits before we move on. There's two more that we can buy, but we'll just get the one that we can afford and go back to the rail mail. And we're good for now. So let's go ahead and take on the next stage. But before we move on, here comes somebody. Stop right there. Raze is here to save the day. Raise? The one and only. Uncle said there's evil stuff going around here, and when evil's afoot, Raise is on the rise. Childish. You don't belong in this place. Run along before you get hurt. Who dares to intrude my tower? Hey lady, my name's Raze. Are you here to help me beat these guys up? Oh ho ho ho! Looking for an apprentice of your own, Spectre Knight? 
He's nobody, just a naive kid. Let him be, I'll escort him out myself. A nobody, you say? Well, that just won't do. Let's make something of him, shall we? What? What are you doing to me? The darkness, it hurts! Stop! Arg! So potent! Ha ha ha! Now this is the kind of feeling I could get used to! Cut him up, Skinny! Why don't we take my new powers for a spin? So we gotta fight Raze. So I'll go ahead and use the Chronos coin. It'll slow him down a bit. And yes, I'm going by Raze. I think it's Raze. I I'm not so sure, to be honest. But I looked at the Japanese version of Shovel Knight, and his name is spelled like Raze. So, uh, I think it is Raze. I know I've been saying Raze, but... I think it might be Ray. I'm not gonna worry too much about his name. I. Okay, so. I'm just gonna focus on fighting him. And. Come on, slow down. Let's go ahead and use the Chronos coin and finish him off. And there we go, he's not too hard. Oh, how delightful. I am impressed, Ray's. Perhaps I can find a use for you around here. Let's see. That nervous acolyte is certainly unfit to guard this mirror. Take his place, if you would. Of, of course, course, my master. master. Uh, can, can I destroy him? him? Not too hasty, my child. He can ponder his fate in the dungeon. And you? Stop wasting time. Return to the task at hand. And do not fail me again. Alright, it's time to take on Treasure Knight stage next. Darkness Looms, an Iron Whale. So the song that's playing here is called The Price of Doing Business. It is a remix of A Thousand Leagues Below, which is the original song on Treasure Night Stage. I'm going in this room to get that Red Skull. I'd also like to throw out that Manami Matsume made the original song, and Jake Hoffman made the remix, so I think that's kind of cool. And now it's time to enter the water, even though I kind of already did at the beginning. But now we're really going under the sea. And there is another red skull. And there's another red skull, surrounded by a bunch of these gray snails, which you can't kill. I thought that was kind of funny that the snail fell when I destroyed that dirt block. Alright, so here's a checkpoint which we're going to be destroying. And the just pink gold. A bunch of eels are appearing. You have to slice your way under the sea as well. And there's this water ball, I guess. Which you can slice through and reach to higher places. And I got this pink gold. I'm gonna get that red skull, but first you wanna go over here and then kill that enemy. And then you can get the red skull. Alright, let's see if we can destroy some of these enemies first. Yeah. And in this room, there's another red skull. I'm go gonna go ahead and get that. Just one more enemy to kill, and you can grind through the spikes. I think I've mentioned this before, but... If you have the rail mail, you can just grind to the spikes and you won't get hurt. And you can... You know, yeah, there was a red skull, but if you jump too high, you'll hit the spikes, so... You want to make sure you don't jump too high. And there is another checkpoint. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy it. Using the anchors to kill enemies is so much fun, to be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and get that gold up there. And kill all the eels. And behind this wall... Um, let's see... I think it's just gold. That's it. There's a bomb and a silver platter, so be careful of that. 
an eel appears after you open up that treasure chest. And then slice your way up here and go back into the water. And there's a red skull at the end. Also, sorry for acting a little bit weird over here, kind of noodling around here. It's because my computer was about to reset, and I had to reschedule it and play at the same time. And that was a... Uh, eh, at least we're at a safe place to do it. But anyway, here is this angler fish. It shoots fish at you. And you just wait till you're at the end of the room to battle it. And here we are at the end of the room. Just hit the light a good number of times and we're good. And then there's a bunch of fish which you can eat. And you'll gain health from it. There's another checkpoint. Go ahead and destroy that. Just go ahead and slice through the projectiles that's shooting. And behind this wall is another room which we're going to get our next whisk. Just gotta get this water ball out of here so we can reach to the next platform. Because there's seaweed covering the wall, so we can't climb. Just have to take care of that enemy first, and it is a willful whisk. And we'll just go ahead and rocket our way back, and we're gonna be moving on. I'm going to go ahead and slice that dirt off the wall and slice up as a shortcut. And now to get the next red skull in this next room behind this wall. It's right down there in the water between those two dirt blocks. Alright, now let's move on. Got a platform on these rockets, and there is a checkpoint down there, which I'm going to be destroying. And here comes a big fish. Be careful, you can't inflict any damage on it, and it will try to attack you, and it does a good number of damage on you. I'm almost dead. It's like that fish from Super Mario Bros. 3. There's a silver platter, which contains a rotten apple. There's another silver platter. Another rotten apple. You can use these anchors to kill it. It's pretty much the only way you can kill it. Come on. Come on. Kill it. Kill it, please. Thanks. There we go. And there's another red skull, which we'll try to get. I, I need it for a 100% run. There we go. We've got the next red skull. And there's a checkpoint. Alright, so now that we're done with him, we'll go ahead and go to the next room to get our next red skull. Just right on the rocket. And then ride the anchors up. And then you got the red skull. I'm just gonna go ahead and collect all the gold in here. As much as I can anyway. Well, we got them all. Alright. So, okay, I'm gonna dig this up. My sight. And then ride my way to the boss. There's one more checkpoint. 
And here we go with the Treasure Knight. Ugh, I just brought my ship to the surface, and already I find a beggar on board. I'm not here for a handout, instead I bring a proposition. Unrestricted salvage rights, and a place as the Enchantress's financer. Oh, I'll gladly spend gold to make gold, but how can I take your word that my investment would be secure? Our words go far beyond words! Behold a glimpse of the power she commands! Alright, it's time to fight Treasure Knight. I'm gonna send out my skeletal sentry to inflict a lot of damage on him. He comes down. And we are finished with Treasure Knight. Alright, let's go ahead and get our next curio. It's the Hover Plume. So you basically just float up for a little bit. So if you accidentally almost fall into a bombless pit, you can use the Hover Plume and then you can float your way back to safety. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade our Hover Plume. But before we do that, let's go ahead and talk to Treasure Knight. I was told there was a banquet hall. This? This is a travesty. The only thing fit to order here is a complete renovation. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade our Hover Plume. Well, actually, let's go ahead and turn that guy into something else. Oh no, he avoided it. Let's try it again. I almost went down the ladder. Alright. Hopefully we can get it this time. Just wait. Uh, what?! Okay. I don't want to have to do this all day. But please just stand still for a second. Okay? There we go! War! You destroyed my helmet! I guess the jig is up. Don't tell anyone I'm really a dragon, okay? I can't work as a gold armorer without my helmet. What will I do? Wait, I think I get it. You're telling me to be myself. Maybe I'll need to change who I am to fit in. Thanks, Vector Knight. From now on, I'll be more proud of my true self. Yep, that's the lesson. Be yourself. I will say that he looks like Omega Shenron from Dragon Ball GT. Kinda. Alright, so we upgraded our Hover Plume. Well, there's only one more outfit that I need, and I can afford it right now, so let's go ahead and buy it. And that's it for all the outfits. Just gonna switch back to Rail Mail, and I just realized we can actually buy that Curio now. We have enough Red Skulls. This is the Dread Talon. You can just strike at enemies at close range. Pretty basic. I was going to try to get 4,000 gold so I can upgrade the Dread Talon, but might as well just wait after the next stage, which is going to be King Knight stage. Let's do it. Darkness Looms. Alright, so this is King Knight stage, and the song that's playing is called in the Halls of the King, which is a remix of In the Halls of the Usurper. It's basically a major version of the song. It's happier. So I went back here to get that red skull, and to see that Yacht Club Games logo, and to open up that treasure chest. Gonna dig up this pile of dirt. And there is a red skull up there, so I'm just gonna slice my way up there to get the red skull. Behind this wall is a treasure chest that contains a good number of gold. And behind this wall is another red skull. 
I'm just gonna judgment rush my way over here to speed things up a bit. Just slice on his projectiles and he'll make it over here. I'm actually gonna go in this room to get that red skull. Gotta kill that guy again because enemies respawn. And there is a checkpoint which I'm gonna be destroying. As always. And it's gonna judgment rush through him. And use this book to make platforms. I'm only gonna use it to get that pink gold and grind my way through the spikes. But you gotta open the book again to do wall jumps to get on the ladder. Grinding is always fun and fast. That's why I'm grinding. So you're gonna wanna drop down here, and I was an idiot. I hit the wall and tried to walk up it. Well, it was unintentional, but I did a judgment rush to get that red skull and to open up that treasure chest. And behind this wall is another red skull. And up here is some food to eat. And another checkpoint. So you want to platform on these, but they will fall when you land on them, or if you're underneath them. And we're going to go ahead and get that red skull up there. Here's a mini boss. It's that Gryphon. He can blow you back with his wings, too. And that takes care of that. Here's a checkpoint which we're going to destroy. And over here is a Willful Wisp. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Judgment Rush to skip all this. I'm going to go ahead and use it here too. And whoa, I almost fell. Alright, so jump off here. And then you'll be able to access this room to get the next Red Skull. Just thought I'd play around with that. Alright, moving on. We got this section again with all the books. Gotta open them up and then they create platforms. Aw oh, man. I really messed up. I tried to do something cool. Just to grind my way to the other side, but eh, I messed up. And I don't want to mess up again, so I'm just gonna go through it without grinding. But this I'm gonna use the Chronos coin to slow things down a bit. Oh, I thought I was going to fall in, but there was a platform down there that can break my fall. And we're almost to the end. We're at the end of this room, and we're almost at the end of the stage, fighting King. Just going to go over here and open up this treasure chest for some gold. And then there's one more red skull right underneath us. I want to be careful of this guy. I'm just gonna skip him, but he blew me off. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna kill him. Because why not? I wanted to skip him until he blew me off. Alright. That will make him restore our health. Let's destroy this checkpoint, and here we go. Oh look, it's the loyal lapdog. Here to do your master's bidding, hmm? Chasing your tail around the valley must be tiring. In fact, you look like death. Ha ha! As our leader suspected you dawdle and play on nobility, I've been tasked with setting you back on schedule. 
What should I do? Grab a shovel and start digging? Just thinking about it makes my flawless face flush. Working is for our commoners, but I'm afraid to get my hands dirty. Watch. All right, so we're fighting against King Knight. Gonna go ahead and send up my skeletal sentry. And when King Knight hits the ground, then some of the platforms will either start sticking up or down. And when they're down, they're like boundless pits, pretty much. And he shoots out cards. And that was King Knight. Let's break camp. We can reach the pinnacle by day's end. I can already sense its power. Over life and death it shall be ours soon. Into the shadows. Alright, so now we're inside the Tower of Fate. As Donovan, of course, so... It's all colorless again. We have Luan helping us reach into higher places. I'm gonna go down there and open up that treasure chest. Things are getting crazier. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Caltrops to get rid of these guys. And uh, I'll just knock this guy down. And here's a checkpoint, which we cannot destroy. I go in here to get some gold. There's an enemy on the ceiling. And then I'm gonna set a Caltrops right there so when he gets down, he'll take damage. So all I need to do is hit him one time. And we're getting close. Just gonna platform through these blocks. And do the same in the next room. With fire falling. And I believe there's one more checkpoint. Yep, there is. Here's some turkey if you need it. Is... is that the amulet? It's ours, finally. Stay where you are. The amulet has power far beyond your control. I am here to destroy it, once and for all. But I seek only to protect my son. My intentions are pure. Protect him? Then by fleeing this place and never looking back. Heh. <laughs> you want it for yourself? You can't fool me, Luan. Would you do the honors? Just a moment. If what she's saying is true, then might want to be a little more cautious. You would let some pompous knight tell us what we can and can't take? Where is this busybody anyway? I'm Shield Knight, and I will not let you pass. Alright, so we have to fight Shield Knight as Donovan. Of course, she's going to protect herself with her shield, and she's called Shield Knight. So you have to attack her in her back. But she does throw her shield like a boomerang. You can inflict some damage on her then. And she just landed on the Caltrops. Nice. The tower crumbled around us. We must leave at once. I never knew you as a coward, Luan. We'll leave once we have our prize. Stay away. You meddle with forces you do not understand. Please, Donovan, I'm begging you. Leave the amulet. It's not worth it. Never. Out of my way! And you. You won't stop me either. Have at you. Well, that sure was strange. Anyway, let's go ahead and get our next curio. It is the Shadow Mirror. You can spawn a mirror of Spectre Knight. And you can break things from far away with your mirror. And enemies, too.
All right, so now let's go talk to King Knight. Well, actually, there's a new enemy that joins. It's a gold armor. Ah, look, the sniveling servant here to wait on me. Hey, you, servant. Yes, you. More chicken at once. Ha ha ha, glamorous. And let's go upgrade our curio. Our shadow here. And the other one, too. Alright. And that's it for now. But actually, there's one more thing to do before we're done with this episode. Let's show off our cool grinding skills. Oi, you're cutting edge. Oil reckon never been an edgier bloke to my knowledge. It's all rather educational. Ah, I get it. Well, that was episode 2 of Spectre of Torment. We'll see you in episode 3.